What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking an executive class train to Semarang, new city and uh, very very excited to go and check out another city here in central Java and we just arrived to the station Solo Balapan station and uh, yeah it's morning and uh, just slowly waking up and cannot wait to go and see what we can see on this train. They have a surprisingly beautiful chandelier here in the yeah, train station. I don't really know if amazing. you can see it in the camera. Yeah. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Let's get the tickets. Yeah. Easy as that. So today we're taking the Banyu Biru uh, Express to Semarang. And I believe this is our wagon here. Yeah, this should be the one. I'm always holding my bags weird so I don't fit through the <laughs> <laughs> She got stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 1A and B, I think it's the uh, very front. 1A and 1B, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I should just put my bags on like a normal person, but no. <laughs> the AC in here is blasting, wow. It feels amazing already. Oh my god, okay. This, this is, is our, this. our seats. Wow. Oh, smaller windows this time. In the smaller last, windows. In the yeah. last few trains we had these like really large windows. Yeah. This time around it's a little bit smaller but still very nice. Uh, seems quite cozy here. Definitely. And now Luke has to pull up the bags. I'm gonna hold you guys. Yeah. <laughs> the cost of this train was really fantastic. So the total cost for both of us was 150,000, so 75,000 each. Oh. That's really, really good value. For an executive class train, like that's roughly around five, less than five euro, around five US dollars per person. Really, really good. Oh. Really good value. I think we're standing in the way. I keep being surprised by how this backpack fits there. Yeah, there's a, it doesn't look like it's a lot of space, but it is. and. Uh, works every time we really really enjoy the trains so far in indonesia like every time we take a train we're genuinely shocked at how smooth the process is and how easily it all comes together just look at how amazing this is like for five dollars you have blasting ac you have plenty of leg room you're not you're not crammed into like a sardine can basically and uh like naomi said a lot of the time we have uh, massive windows and beautiful views. This time they're just a little bit smaller, but you're not going to complain when it's this type of value. It's really good. Also, most important thing, they have food on board. <laughs> so I'm, I already know I'm going to order the nasi goreng because nasi goreng is always the nicest thing to order on these trains. Uh, and they have different sort of um, vegetables and meat and so on every single time we order a nasi goreng. So I'm very excited to see what they are going to have today. Salama pagi! <laughs> My favorite thing about the train journey? That's right, the nasi goreng. This time they have a nasi goreng bakso. The last time we actually had a nasi goreng uh, with chicken, with ayam. And uh, it always comes in this cute little kit. So you sort of have a pack of rice, you get some sambal, you have your bakso, so your meatballs, you have vegetables, and you also have some keropok, some shrimp crackers. And then you sort of just have to assemble your own nasi goreng. And that's the favorite part of every train journey that we are on. So I'm just gonna do right that. Also been enjoying some coffee as well, which is a huge plus, huge. Especially if you're taking a morning train like we are. Oftentimes, when we're doing like a travel day or we're going to a different city we might not have the sufficient time to make ourselves a coffee and uh, this is a very big added plus to these trains and this coffee is delicious too just straight black coffee nice and strong keeping us going throughout this journey the views are keeping us going as well give the nasi goreng a try That crunch is absolutely perfect. Mm. Even though it is a 
train nasi goreng, which in Europe would mean it would be quite bad. Um, this is actually really delicious and I absolutely love it. I cannot say enough how much I love taking trains in Indonesia. <laughs> so good. Because we are currently going through cent central Java, sort of from the southern part to the northern part of central Java, um, our surroundings look a lot drier. I don't know if it's just me or if I'm imagining this, but um, I mean it's still relatively green, but if you look at the soil and the leaves and so on, it looks a little bit drier um, than the rest. I'm actually really really curious to see what Semarang looks like if that's also a little bit more on the humid side or a little bit more on the dry side like uh, the area that we are currently in now I'm not too sure where exactly we are but we are somewhere in between Solo and uh, Semarang I want to say somewhere in central Java So believe it or not the train ride from Solo out to Semarang is just only two hours and we're actually very fast approaching Semarang Tawang station, which is our stop. Incredible. Very, very smooth journey. We're very happy with the service. The coffee was amazing. The nasi goreng was amazing. And um, incredibly comfortable train as well with the AC. Everything was very, very fantastic. Now, we're excited to get off this train, go and find our accommodation, check in, show you guys around our room, so stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 for this train. All right, so we just arrived at Semarang station and it really felt like we're sort of hitting summertime. I don't know if you know the feeling when you open the door of the plane and then the heat is just hitting you in the face. Uh, that just there felt similar because it was very a, a lot of AC inside of the train and now coming outside it just felt like oh heat and my eyes feel really really dry all of a sudden but uh, yeah super cool we just arrived now we have to figure out where the exit is and then how to get to our accommodation yeah the weather feels particularly warm here at the moment we checked actually as well uh, the temperature on the weather app and it is quite a bit hotter than solo it's right around 35 degrees Celsius right now, so I'm sweating already. <laughs> Let's go and check in to our Airbnb. Just know that uh, whatever train station you come out of, there's usually a lot of taxi drivers waiting in front of the station. And uh, especially if you are a foreigner, they're usually trying to get you into their car because obviously you're not aware of how much uh, a journey should actually be. And uh, the best thing to do is actually to just walk off a little bit, walk outside of the train station, keep walking for about like five minutes and then uh, order a grab online. And that way, uh, at least as a foreigner, you can make sure that you're getting the right price. And uh, we have been doing that so far and uh, it always works out. <laughs> Made our way inside of a grab. Just waiting for a few minutes to see if we could get one. And um, luckily, it's only around 18,000 uh, IDR to get to our place, which is a little bit over a euro. So uh, that's really not bad at all. Can't complain. One thing I can complain about though is the heat here. Oh my God. We, uh, we're just standing on the side of the road for two minutes waiting for, the, for a grab. And uh, yeah, it's already kicking our asses, I think. But uh, we should be arriving soon. <clears throat> we'll give you guys a little bit of a room tour. And then uh, you guys really have to stay tuned because we're obviously going to be filming a video here in Semarang. So new city, new vibes, something different for sure.
Well, incredibly hot in Semarang. So hot. Just checked in, as you can see. Welcome to our room. So we decided to go for the uh, budget option, I guess you could say, here in Semarang. And it seems to be a pretty large room, though. Um, yeah. We're paying roughly around 14 euro per night for this place. And uh, let's give you guys a quick little, probably incredibly quick tour here. <coughs> Large double bed, very nice. Looks to be clean, is it comfy? Yeah, perfect. Nice. Not too hard, not too soft. It's perfect. Good. We have an AC, which is, we really, really need this AC. Uh, it's incredibly warm. I can't say that enough, guys. And then our bathroom seems to be pretty straightforward so again it's actually kind of a large bathroom you do have the shower toilet sink mirror hello guys and uh yeah nothing too fussy pretty straightforward the name of this place aria graha or arja graha homestay and um yeah like i said very budget friendly pretty uh, strategic location here in Semarang. We're not too far away from the old town. We're not too far away from the train station. A couple of different places that we want to check out in this city, especially the night markets. A couple of different markets in general. But yeah, this place seems to be pretty nice and well, well worth the money. Yeah, I'm gonna take the nap of the century. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a quick little nap as announced uh, because of how hot it was and we were just a little bit tired from traveling but now we are ready to get some food and I believe we want to check out one of the local malls here uh, because I think in, uh, in our, on our YouTube channel we haven't covered any malls whatsoever so yeah we're gonna go and check out a mall and hopefully get something nice to eat yeah, I'll be Tell you what guys, we weren't expecting this. Welcome to Solo Paragon Mall here in Semarang. We came here to get food, but wow, we just walked inside and we've been absolutely blown away by how incredible this place looks. Nice AC going as well. The heat really knocked us out earlier. Let's go and explore this mall and see what we can get to eat. Didn't take us too long to find a place that looked really, really good. Now this place here is called Golden Lamian. And I went for the Lamian Ayam Goreng fried chicken on a beautiful bed of noodles. And there was a guy literally making the noodles by hand at the checkout. He was like smashing the noodles off of the checkout basically. So that's what really initially attracted us to come over here and try this food out. It looks spectacular. Just have a look. Yeah. So Luke went with, uh, I think he already said, I am goreng, uh, lamian, I am goreng, and I went with uh, lamian sapi. So I have the beef version and Luke has the fried chicken version basically with some nice noodles, some bok choy, some uh, spring onions and of course a lemon iced tea. Um, mm. <laughs> you can never have enough lemon iced tea but I'm gonna dive right in because I'm so hungry. We only had the nasi goreng today that you saw Whoopi. and uh, it's already like 10 to 7 right now so it's quite late. But yeah, the noodles look so so well, uh, so so good, especially because we saw the guy making the noodles fresh. So it kind of feels like a little bit more love and work went into the noodles. So I appreciate them a little bit more. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Sapi, the beef. <laughs> <laughs> Also very good now, I, I remember words in, in, in Bahasa before I remember the English words, <laughs> it's funny. Mm. Good fresh vegetables as well, definitely a place I approve of. And they have refill ocha as well, which we of course couldn't pass. Nice. Now I have the, as I said, the I am goreng with noodles there too. And it really, really looks spectacular. And um, what is this? Soup. I have some soup, some 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 soto, if I do want to hydrate my noodles. But I typically like to have my noodles a little bit dry and a little bit spicy as well. Dry and spicy, that's the best combination. But I might put a little bit of this on. I'm just gonna give it a taste. It's 
smells really good. I'm gonna go get some sambal for you. Mm. Naomi's gonna go grab my sambal because I always like to add some sambal. I love spicy food and I'm becoming more and more of a fan of spicy food the longer that we're staying in Indonesia. That soto is fantastic. It tastes really, really rich, very flavorful and, uh, and not too oily, which is fantastic. But um, yeah, guys, I think I'm just gonna give it a try as it is right now, the ayam goreng with noodles. I'm gonna take a piece of the ayam goreng uh, there some, seems to be some sort of like onions or shallots or something like that in here as well. And uh, I'm just gonna try and get as much as I can here on my fork. Here we go. That's amazing. Right away, I can tell you, it's really good. Yeah. Naomi, Naomi came with the sambal. They have different variations of sambal. I went with the lemon sambal. I don't know if that was... Lemon sambal. I don't know if that's your preferred version, but uh, mm. they were the different ones. Too many choices. Oh, okay. Let's give it a try. So we have a lemon sambal. I'm just gonna basically pour it over what I have here. And hope that it's not too crazy, because I like spice, but I don't like spice that's gonna like end my life. So I have some over my chicken here. I'm gonna try to get some of these nudes on my <laughs> fork. <laughs> oh, I keep dropping them. Here we go. Let's try the lemon sambal with the chicken. Oh my God. Phenomenal. It has a kick for sure, wow. I feel it on my tongue, but it is really, really tasty. It has like a um, like an umami type of a flavor. Naomi just tried it, and I think she is having a stroke. <laughs> no, I, I didn't try it with food. I just put my tongue into the thing like, and it's spicy. <laughs> but it's nice. It's very tasty. It's a good, uh, good sambal. The lemon yeah. sambal is definitely amazing. Golden lamion. Or golden lamian, I just mispronounced it. Golden lamian is uh, it's a good spot. And this uh, Paragon Mall, very, very cool place. Lots happening. Semarang, the capital of central Java. So definitely expect more videos from here. We're here for a few days. So uh, hopefully we'll get out and about when it's not hot. We're probably gonna have to stick to shooting at nighttime in this city. Also on a little side note, um, before we get too late in this video, um, we just applied for the one year visa for Indonesia so that we can have a look at the other islands as well. Because with the current visa, um, we're only allowed to stay 60 days within the country. And uh, that would mean that we would have to leave soon or like relatively soon and um, so we yeah, we just applied uh, we paid for everything and uh, we're just waiting for the answer basically and as soon as we have that visa we're gonna let you guys know and uh, then also soon hop onto the next island probably